Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this address by method of sections. I have already analyzed this address using method of joins. You can click the link in the description and watch the video. We have to find the vertical reactions VA and VC. First, let us find VA. For that, I am going to take a moment about C. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 7.5. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 2.5. For VA, we will get 1 kN. By using the rule sigma V is equal to 0, we can find VC. From the point D, let us drop a vertical line. Let us keep this point as D dash. We can find the length of AD dash. That will be 7.5 upon 2. We will get 3.75 meter. We need to find this height. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us apply tan theta formula. That is opposite side by adjacent side. Here opposite side is DD dash and the adjacent side is AD dash. Just before we have found the length to be 3.75. For DD dash we will get 2.16 meter. Now I am going to make the first section like this and I am going to take the left side portion and do the analysis. Let us take a moment about D. When we take a moment about D, we should not consider FAD. The remaining forces are 1 and FAB. 1 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.75. FAB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 2.16. For FAB, we will get a positive value so that it is tensile. Now let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find FAD, 1 is acting upwards so that it will be positive. FAD is inclined, we have to make it vertical. To make it vertical, we need 60 degree. When we make it vertical, it will be acting upwards so that it will be positive and we have to multiply with the cos 60. For FAD, we will get a negative value that means it is compressive. Now I am going to make the second section like this. And I am going to take the right side part and do the analysis. Let us take a moment about D. When we take a moment about D, we should not consider FCD. The remaining forces are FBC and 2. 2 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3.75. FBC is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2.16. For FBC, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. 2 is acting upwards so that it will be positive. FCD is inclined. We have to make it vertical. To make it vertical, we need 60 degree. Since it is acting upwards, it will be positive. And we have to multiply with the cos 60. For FCD, we will get a negative value that means it is compressive. Now I am going to make the last and third section like this. And I am going to take this part and do the analysis. We have already calculated FBA, FBC. Only we have to find FBD. Let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. 3 is acting downwards so it will be negative. FBD is inclined, we have to make it vertical. To make it vertical, we need 30 degree. Since it is acting upwards, it will be positive and we have to multiply with the cos 30. For FBD, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Here, I have tabulated all of the member forces. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.